So in this video, we're going to use the definitions of both cosine hyperbolic effects and sine hyperbolic effects to show that uh, this, this identity of cosine squared hyperbolic effects minus sine squared hyperbolic effects equals one. Okay. So we know that cosine hyperbolic squared effects minus sine hyperbolic squared effects is equal to one. Okay. What's, what's my definition of cosine hyperbolic squared effects? Well, we know that to be e to the x plus e to the negative x divided by 2. So that's our definition, and it's squared. So if we square it, we get something that looks like this. And we simply subtract that from what's the definition of sine hyperbolic of x? Well, that's just e to the x minus e to the negative x divided by 2. Okay, and we square that. So now we have it in that form. Well, remember, if I'm squaring this, all I'm actually doing is... is is multiplying it out. And so in fact, I'll have e to the x plus e to the negative x divided by two. And we're gonna multiply that again by e to the x plus e to the negative x divided by two minus now e to the x minus e to the negative x divided by two times e to the x minus e to the negative x divided by two. And that is simply equal to one. So all I did was just factor it out. Now, let's uh, let's multiply across. So let's multiply across. So we know that our denominator is what? Our denominator is going to be 4. So let's multiply. So e to the x times e to the x. What happens to be e to the 2x? We just add our exponents. Uh, yeah. Plus, well, e to the x times e to the negative x, well, we just, in this case, our exponents will be subtracted. So this will become e to the 0. Yeah, we still have our plus sign. e to the x, e to the negative x times e to the x. Well, that is just e to the 0 again. e to the, e to the negative x times e to the negative, uh, negative x. Well, that is just equal to e to the negative 2x. Okay, and this is all over 4 because we're multiplying the bottom and the top, yeah? Simply multiplication across. And then this is subtracted from, well, e to the x times e to the x, that's e to the 2x. e to the x minus e to the uh, uh, negative x. Well, what is that? that? Happens to be a negative e to the zero. Negative e to the negative x times e to the x, or well, that's minus e to the zero. Yes, and then negative times a negative, that's a positive. So this becomes e to the e to the negative x times e to the negative negative x. That becomes positive e to the negative 2x because we add our exponents. And we simply divide all this by 4. And we know this is equal to 1. Okay, well, in this case, we have e to the 2x. We know any number to the 0th power is just 1, so we have plus 1, plus 1, plus e to the negative 2x. And we're going to subtract that. This is all over 4. We're going to subtract this from e to the 2x. Well, e to the 0 is just 1, so that's negative 1, negative 1, plus, well, that becomes e to the negative 2x. And we divide that by 4, and we said this is equal to 1. Okay, so since our denominator is the same, we could just go ahead and combine everything, okay? Well, 1 plus 1 is 2, so we know this is e to the 2x plus 2 plus e to the negative 2x, okay? Now, we got to be careful here. We got we to gotta distribute our negative, and so if we distribute our negative, this becomes negative, well, e to the 2x. So this becomes negative e to the 2x. Uh, I don't even know why I put a bracket here, but let's 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 write it out first before we distribute. So this becomes negative two plus e to the negative two x. That is equal to one, and this is all over four. Okay, so all of this is over four. So if we look at this now with our negative being distributed, we get e to the two x plus two plus e to the negative two x minus e to the negative minus e to the two x. Uh, negative times a negative is a positive, so this becomes plus 2. That becomes negative e to the negative 
2x and that is equal to 1 and this is all over 4. The only thing I did was just distribute my negative. Okay, And so if we look, we have a plus e to the x, e to the 2x and we have a negative e to the 2x. So those cancel. So that, that's 0. That's nice to know. And then we have a plus e to the negative 2x and a negative e to the uh, negative 2x. And so we know that these will cancel to give me 0. So the only thing I'm left with is 2 plus 2. So we know 2 plus 2 is 4. And we divide that by 4, which is which is under here, and that is equal to 1. Okay, and so we in this case we get 1 is equal to 1. So this is how we would prove that cosine hyperbolic squared of x minus sine hyperbolic squared of x is equal to 1.